So this period appears to be high volatility, lots of wiggles, lots of fears, but otherwise it's what seems to me to be a fairly normal, slightly abnormal market correction period. Overall, things on the world economy are positive with some weak points along the way. The fact is, corrections like this, sometimes longer, sometimes not so long, come out of no place. They can last a little longer, a little shorter. Once they bottom, you tend to move on from them. They tend to motivate people to look for bad stuff and make up in their mind things that are bad that maybe aren't really there. This year, we have, as near as I can tell, increasing uncertainty about things that otherwise have largely gotten better. Are there some weak points? Always. If we look around the world, we can see slightly declining economy in Australia, Germany, Sweden, Japan, which has been off and on weak this entire economic expansion, a little bit of sideways wiggle to downward in Britain, but overall across the globe, GDP is growing at a couple of percent a year, inflation's moderate. In this backdrop, this is mostly sentiment. Sentiment tends to mean revert after a while. If you don't actually get real bad things in the economy, people can't stay too dour too long. It's why you have multiple corrections within a bull market. We think this bull market, I think this bull market continues on, but right now we got all this wiggling. And the key is when people are looking for bad stuff and afraid to remember that you should be greedy when others are fearful, you should be fearful when others are greedy, and right now it's pretty obvious that a whole lot more people are afraid of all kinds of ghosts than they are being greedy.